Hello friends. In this video we will learn how to use ESP Touch protocol with ESP32 device. Using ESP Touch protocol, you will no longer need to hard code the Wi-Fi credentials. You can use ESP Touch smart config app to configure the ESP32 device with new Wi-Fi credentials. I have also built an ESP32 sketch to store the Wi-Fi credentials in EP ROM memory. I have also used the onboard boot button on ESP32 as a reset button to erase the Wi-Fi credentials stored in EP ROM memory. First, you need to install the ESP Touch Smart Config app for ESP8266 and ESP32. You can install it from the Google Play Store. As you can see the app is installed successfully. Next, we will upload the code to our ESP32 device. You can get the code from my GitHub account. I have put the code download link in the video description. You must paste the code in Arduino IDE. Next, for this project you need to install ESP32 board package. You can use this link to install the ESP32 board package. After installing the board, connect your ESP32 board to the computer. Then, select the board and COM port from tools menu. And then, click on upload button to upload the code. Once the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor. Select the board rate to 115200. Here you can see the message, waiting for smart config. Now, open the ESP Touch app from your phone. Turn on the location service if asked. Make sure your phone is connected to your Wi Fi network. The ESP Touch app will automatically detect the connected Wi Fi SSID and BSSID. Next, you need to enter the password of your connected Wi Fi network. Then, select the multicast radio button. And then press the confirm button. You will need to wait for a while, and you will see a success message in the app. Now go to Serial Monitor. Here, you can see the message, Smart Config is received. And the ESP device is connected to the internet. And the Wi-Fi SSID and password is stored in the EP ROM flash memory. Next, you can use the boot button to erase the Wi-Fi credentials from the EP ROM flash memory. You just need to press and hold the boot button for more than 3 seconds and the Wi-Fi credentials will be erased from the EP ROM memory. You can see the SSID and password has been erased. Now you can add new Wi-Fi credentials using the ESP Touch app. That's all. If you have any question then comment in the comment box. See you in another video. Bye.